Hello, I am the one owner, and this is a bit of a different video. I have never really made a video like this. This is a retelling of the story of God of War from my memory. This is basically God of War. So God of War follows Kratos. He's a Spartan soldier, fought in many wars. Eventually, he was about to be killed in one. So made a deal with Ares, the God of War, gained power, fighting more wars. Ares agreed, took Kratos in. As time went, he thought Kratos could become more. Set Kratos up to raid a village. Wife and daughter were there. Oops, making him accidentally kill his family. And this cursed Kratos, and his skin got all gray and stuff because he got covered by the ashes of his family. Except for some parts of him that are red. Right, so this, needless to say, angered Kratos. So he got pissed at Ares and decided to go on a murder quest. And that is where the game starts. So, God of War is not exactly a story-driven game. Well, it is, but it's not filled to the brim with story. Right, so here's the story, basic story of the first game. Kratos goes to the city, meets an oracle, tells him to go to the desert. He goes to the desert, finds Kronos and a temple he's carrying. In the temple, he finds Pandora's box, which is supposed to, you know, be filled with the power to kill a god. And needless to say, the other gods help him along the way. You'd think that, oh, he's going on a murder quest. The gods would probably not really think that's good, but they think Ares is kind of a douche. So they say, sure, go for it. We'll help you. So Ares snipes him as soon as he gets the box. And he almost ends up in Hades, but he just climbs back up. And while Ares is basically just standing, patting himself on the back, you know, job well done. Kratos opens Pandora's box, gets the power to kill a god, and then he kills a god. Kratos. No. Ares. <laughs> I'm not very good with names, though. So. Kratos thinks about killing himself, but Athena is like, no, don't, don't do that. I mean, you still have horrible nightmares of your family, but how about you become the new god of war? And he does. The end. And that sets the stage for God of War 2, which uh, was not not uh, planned in advance. <laughs> right, so Kratos is the god of war and he's using the armies of Sparta to invade cities because that's what you do when you're the god of war, which was what Ares did. And I'm not sure why they think that Kratos would be better, but whatever. Athena warns him, but he doesn't really care. She just warns him, really. I mean, it's like, you're being a douche, just like Ares. That's what he's supposed to do. So she fights him as the Colossus of Rhodes. I think it is at least. It's a Colossus. He can't beat it. So Zeus is like, here's the Sword of Olympus. Try putting all your god powers in it. Maybe that'll help. So it does. And he pretty much beats the Colossus. But then Zeus comes in and just takes the sword. And is like, ah, it was a double cross all along. Now you die. So he stabs Kratos through the chest. And then he kills all the Spartan soldiers and leaves. However, on his way down to Hades, Kratos gets in contact with Gaia, one of the strongest titans who apparently had a big war with Zeus a long time ago, but lost. She offers Kratos an opportunity to go back to life and get revenge on Zeus. Uh, naturally, Kratos accepts and gets healed. He crawls back up and is set to go find the Fates. And the Fates are basically the guardians of all Fates. Really, they, they spin these long lines and they represent people's fates. And if they clip it, then they die. Basically, it's in the mythology. Um, doesn't really happen a lot on the way to the fates. So he goes and finds the fates. And they don't want him to mess stuff up. So he beats the crap out of them. And takes their time machine. Because they had one of those. And uh, yeah. He can do whatever he wants, so he goes back in time to when Zeus kills him, and he tries to get revenge. But, uh, you know, as he's trying to stab Zeus and ending everything, Athena jumps in the way and dies. And this is basically when it's re revealed that, oh, I didn't want history to repeat itself, and Kratos is like, what? Because Zeus killed his dad, which he didn't, because Cronus was in the um, desert, but whatever. And, yeah... So she didn't want Kratos to kill his dad, who is Zeus. And, I mean, this is not a fact that matters that much. Aside from the fact that, yeah, they're father and son. And, I mean, it kind of proves that Kratos could probably have killed Ares without Pandora's box. But, I don't know. 
Whatever. Zeus flees the scene. Kratos goes back in time and saves the Titans from getting beaten by Zeus. Brings them to the present. They immediately start attacking Olympus. And that's the cliffhanger ending of God of War 2. And then we go to God of War 3. Starting off where God of War 2 ended. <clears throat> and honestly, most of this game is just Kratos climbing out Mount, Mount Olympus. Then falling down again. Only to climb back up once more. I don't remember exactly how many times this happened. But while playing the game, it felt like it happened like 10 times. But it's probably more like 3 or 4. But some stuff happens along the way, so we'll just go through that. So Kratos find out from the dead-ish Athena that Zeus has Pandora's box up at the top of Mount Olympus. And in that box there's a weapon that could kill Zeus. Problem is, he's put the box in the flame of Olympus, which can't be extinguished. However... You meet Hephaestus, the god of smithing and such. It turns out he made both the box and the flame. And a creation of his can be used to extinguish the flame. So Kratos finds this creation and it turns out it's a girl named Pandora. He, he literally made a daughter for himself. And at first he immediately wants to sacrifice her so he can get the box. But at, as the adventure goes on, you know, he's like, Oh, yeah, this girl actually kind of reminds me of my daughter. I don't really want to sacrifice her anymore. But she's like, this is my purpose, I'm going to do this. And she is uh, eventually sacrificed to that end. And Kratos opens the box, only to find out it's empty. So, what to do, you know? He just beats up Zeus anyways and just kills him. And that's when it's revealed by the deadish Athena that when Zeus put all the evils of the world in the box, she put hope in alongside it so they could use it to fight the evils should they escape. They thought Kratos had absorbed the evils to fight Ares, but actually had absorbed the hope. And Zeus and the other gods had been infected with the evils, which was why they were evil. And not just because, I mean, let's face it, they did not like Ares, so why would they like Kratos? He was doing the exact same stuff. Regardless, Kratos stabs himself through the chest, releasing all of the hope to the world. And then while Athena isn't looking, uh, she's monologuing about, Oh, you shouldn't have done that, you should have given me the hope. He disappears. And that's the end of the game. So yeah. That is the basic story. And that is basically God of War. One, two, three. So yeah. Uh, I hope I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope this was fun. Um, I don't know if it, if it is. Uh, I might try making another one with another game. Or another game series. We'll see. This, these games do not have that much of a, you know, plot more than the events that I mentioned here. So I figured I'd do one, two, and three together as a first video. So yeah, for now, thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. So for now, bye.